right, grab your seats, old ladies and old men. What is happening here? It's the marathon of the lucky uh, wheel. Mr. Beer's adventure. Exactly. I am so You've been what, son? I am so Oh, I'm sorry. I can't hear you, son. Let me just... Can you repeat that now, please? I am so Wrong one. This is my old earring aid. Let me just grab my new one. Ah, uh, get over with this old lady. McCready. Wait, Marta, is that you? No, never. I'm there. Well then, Mr. Dad. Come in. Let me serve you a cup of milk. But I... <sighs> Look, um, Marianne, you know I am here, right? Here's your milk, honey. Would you also like some cookies? Uh, no thanks. Are you sure? They've got chocolate chips. Uh, chocolate chips? Chocolate chips. Alright, but good deeds will not save you from me, for I have come to harvest your life. Those are my grandchildren, Eric, Christian, and Sarah. Aren't they lovely? They spend time with me every weekend. Here you go. Please sit down. And stop playing the fool, because that won't take you far. I've been sent here to harvest your life, and so will I. But it's getting late, and I've got more people to visit on my shift. Alright. But I can't understand why. Why can't I live a few more years and spend more time with my grandchildren? Why should we even die? Can't we all be immortal and live in eternal harmony? I'm not referring to those who are evil and corrupt, but we, good people. People who have worked honestly their entire life and need more time, infinite time. Death is an awful, awful thing that has no place in what should be a beautiful life. And you, you are the one that practices this disgusting act. Maybe you could be the one that deserves to die. Well, actual Marianne, you are very wrong. Tell me, what is light without darkness? What is heat without cold? What is life without death? If there's no darkness, how can you be enlightened? If there's no cold, how can you be warmed up? And if there's no death, what's the point of living? To be stuck eternally in the body with no changes whatsoever. Watching the time pass and eventually running out of things that you can do. Things that you can feel. Things that you can think of. Time ceases to exist. That's no life. That's a prison. That's hell. To work, it needs an opposite. An absence of it. To experience and enjoy life, you must be destined to die. Tell me, who told you as an infant that one day you would die? My father. Was he or not a man of his world? He was. Is there any reason why this wouldn't happen? You are 89. Haven't you lived a fulfilled life? I have. Then it is time. Death is just a passage, and I'm here to guide you through it. I'm sorry. Now I realize that you are right. But I made a mistake, and I can't fix it now. It's too late. Oh, what have you done? I, I, I filled your milk with red poison. And so, old Marianne committed the tragic error of destroying her death. By doing this, she gained immortality and lived eternally a suffered, timeless life. Not only did she experience the death of her children, but of her grandchildren, great-grandchildren, the death of all of her descendants and the end of the world. She has to forever live with the consequences of not accepting her fate, when it literally came to her door.